This video tutorial will demonstrate how to use FP InfoMart's Newsletter Publisher. To access the Newsletter Publisher, you must have access to the Internet Toolkit functionality. First, we'll click the Newsletter Publisher to set up our newsletter. You can create multiple newsletters. To add a new one, click Create a New Newsletter. We can give the newsletter a title, and this title is exactly what will show in the subject line of the email that your recipients get. You have the choice of formats. You may choose to send a summary of the results with links to the articles themselves, or if your recipients prefer, you can include the text of the full article within the email itself. At the top of the email will be a, a table of contents. Each item in the table of contents will have a link to the full article within the email. The name that you've got on your FP InfoMart account will show up by default in the Edited By section, but you can change this if you wish and you simply add the, your recipients to the recipients box. One per line. And you can add as many recipients as you wish. Next, choose which of your folders you wish to include in your newsletter. You can include a single folder or all of your folders. If you haven't already created folders, you'll need to do this before you set up your newsletter. Once you're satisfied with what you've entered here, click Create. Our newsletter is now in the list of available newsletters. Our next step is to collect content. You may be collecting content specifically for the newsletter or you might be gathering this content throughout a specific period of time and send your newsletter perhaps weekly or every couple of days. However you gather your content, what you need to do is add it to your folders. So our company manufactures gadgets, so we're going to look in this personal profile. You can also do archive searches or quick searches to gather your content. You can have any type of content, broadcast, blogs, news stories, news wires, whatever you wish, and just check off the articles that you'd like to have in your newsletter and add them to the appropriate folder. We're also going to take a look at some information about our competitor. We manufacture gadgets, but our competitors manufacture gizmos. We're going to add some news about our competitor to our competitors folder. And perhaps we have uh, another profile that tracks jargon and buzzwords that we go and place in our interesting news folder. Once we've gathered all the information we'd like to include in our newsletter, again, whether it's all at once or throughout the course of a longer period of time, simply go back to your newsletter publisher screen and click Compose next to the name of the newsletter you wish to send at this time. You'll have the option to add a comment to this issue of the newsletter. This comment will be on this edition of the newsletter only. Next we choose how far back in our folders we wish to include content. If you have sent the newsletter before, you can choose to send all the content you've added to the folders since the last time this newsletter was sent. Or, if you do a weekly roundup, you can go as far back as two weeks. I'm going to add the content that we placed in the folders just today. Next we click Preview and we'll get a view of what the newsletter will look like. Now we've added a logo to our internet settings. If you've not already done so, you may wish to watch our instructional video on adding a logo to your internet toolkit. If you wish, you can reorder the stories within the folders just by dragging and dropping them. And when we're ready, simply click Send to send your newsletter on its way. Your recipients will now receive an email containing the stories that you placed in that newsletter and will have access to the full text of the content either by clicking the headlines or within the email itself depending on the setting that you chose.